I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam wa alaikum YouTube, what's cracking? It's your angry biracial back with another video. Y'all know how I do. I gotta keep my foot on the necks of these modern males 24-7. This video is a little bit different. There's no underlying message to this video. The clips that you're going to see here are a bunch of odd clips that didn't fit into my other videos. It's still gonna be a good show though. <laughs> so grab you some popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's dive in. You find more women go in those places with shorts than you will women with pants and dresses put together. Try it. If you got time, try it. Have your boy go up there and try it. Just watch for it. Have your girl go up there and watch for it. And you know, I, I, I used to say this. I haven't said this in a long time. You ready? I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Now, you don't like, do you? I'm right, though. I, I can't help you don't like it. I'm right. Because, you know, a man's a man. Wow. This is that misogynistic boys will be boys mindset that coddles the perverted behaviors of modern men and further oppresses women. He said, if you're wearing short shorts and you get great and I'm on the jury, that man is going free. And this man is a preacher. He's the head of a congregation. He's supposed to be a leader, a pillar of his community. And he's essentially telling everybody that in his opinion, if you're wearing shorts and a man grapes you, then it's your fault because you shouldn't have been wearing those shorts. And there's no blame put on the man because men will just be men, right? Every single day, modern men let you know exactly how they feel about women and children. And they excuse it with that same old, tired, oppressive, misogynistic bullshit. Boys will be boys. And as a Muslim man, I see this a lot in my own religion. That somehow it's a woman's fault if a man is lusting over her. It's a woman's fault if a man essays her because her hair wasn't covered properly, because her body was showing through her abaya. This is probably going to get me in trouble with the religious community. Abrahamic religions seem to want to further oppress women. And as a Muslim, I'm going to keep it 100. If Muslims follow the Quran exactly how it was written, the world would be 10 times worse for women. If Christians follow their Bible exactly the way it was written, the world will be a much worse place for women. If Jews follow the Torah exactly the way it was written, again, the world will be 10 times worse for women. single day countless women go through this right here they can't even make it to their door safely without some sick desperate demented modern male trying to attack them and traffic them and there is little to no protections for women because like that old preacher said in the first clip it's just men being men and we should accept these vile behaviors for men just being men. And that vile mindset is responsible for this. There are still hundreds of thousands of missing black women and girls that no one is looking for, that society and the police have forgotten about. And nine times out of 10, they were captured, abducted, or deleted, or trafficked by the same type of men that you saw in that clip. Let me ask you a question, 
Rapaport, you're afraid to be raped? I'm here for the 25. <laughs> Barbecue, menu, willy jilly pew pew pew. I'm not ten seconds. I had it gone in the fucking. Can I help you? Why? Under ten years, you're not gonna get twice your revenue. Give me the fucking ten. You're in my ring. Can I help you? Can I help you? You can't call me when I'm at party. Come on and wipe me off. What in the Trailer Park Meth Chronicles was that? That looked like a scene from Wrong Turn or The Hills Have Eyes. Bunch of meth heads escaped from the trailer park, walking around normal people harassing them. But this just goes to show how dangerous society has become. That you can be sitting in your home and some random drugged out people will come to your door to harass you, to assault you, to rob you, and only a law knows what else. Stranger after stranger, one after another. Why are they walking up to a nice lady's home and ringing the doorbell? They're all uninvited. So, who are these guys? What can yeah. I do for you? I'm here for Nikki. For who? For the past nine months, Elaine White has been inundated with total strangers showing up at her front door in Plano, Texas. There was a gentleman sitting on my bench out front with a six-pack of Miller Lite, a six-pack of Bud, and six-pack of Heineken, and a bottle of whiskey. Why are they here? Turns out they think Elaine's house is the best little whorehouse in Texas, just like the famous Dolly Parton movie. That's a good wheel and maybe one small thrill, but there's nothing dirty going on. Men are literally showing up at your door looking for a prostitute. That is correct. My address had been given out on a sex website that men go to, and they pay for sex by Venmo, and then they give them an address. And it's mine. And then they come here. I was supposed to meet someone here. Uh, for uh, drugs or sex? Um, second one. You have to be scared. Strange men showing up at your door. Don't be scared. Be prepared. And that's what I started doing. You can say that again. Elaine is so agitated about the men coming to her door. She's arming herself with a pistol. Four inch barrel. It is loaded. And I will use it the next time they come here. She's also posted warning signs across her lawn, and the police department put up security cameras on the street. But when the warnings don't work, Gutsy Elaine has another way to send them running. Get off my front porch. It is pathetic, sad, and scary how desperate and foolish modern men are when it comes to getting a little loving. They pay some stranger online a fixed sum of money. They send them a Venmo. And then they are given an address. And these desperate modern men don't think nothing of it. They show up at some random address, looking like the creeps they are, trying to get what they think they paid for. Do they not realize how desperate and thirsty they look? Again, they pay some random stranger online. Probably near a hundred dollars just for an address. And modern men are so dumb and so stupid that they fall for it every single time. I'm going to end this video here. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit shorter, so bear with me. But before I go, you know I gotta shout out my new book, Kang, A Story of Survival. If you enjoy the content and the topics that I talk about here in my channel, then you will definitely enjoy this book. 
is currently open for pre-order on Amazon.com. So do yourself a favor and pre-order it now. Be one of the first to read my new book in July. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share. All those things help a small growing channel like mine grow faster. And if any of my commentary or any of the clips that were shown in this video triggered you or made you feel some type of way, let me know in the comment section. I really enjoy reading your comments and interacting with y'all. But most of all, know your angry biracial loves you. Stay safe and peace. It's angry biracial.